Hi, it's Megan. I want to talk about the Rouge Volupe lipstick by Yves Saint Laurent YSL Beauty, I guess. It comes in this beautiful tube. They're a little heavier than most lipsticks, but I can find this always in my bag where I can't find a lot of other lipsticks with the bright gold. Um, this is the color. Red Muse is the one I'm looking at. It's number 17. It's also called Rouge Muse, I think. Um, I know. And this is what it looks like. I have uh, swatches outside so you can see it in the sunlight, in the natural light, and not just on my lips. According to Yves Saint Laurent and all kinds of websites, they say this is a bright orange red. I don't agree. I'm sorry. I think it's a warm red. I think it's a pure red, like a real true red, leaning more to the oranges than to the pinks or the fuchsias or the purples or blue based. I'm not seeing so much orange. If you can see, I think it's really a classic red, but a warmer tone red. So this is it. I do see a slight orange undertone, but like I said, I, when I think orange red, I think of a lot more orange than I see in this. So the formula is rapidly becoming one of my favorite, favorite formulas. So these, I guess, have SPF 15 and, according to Sephora, and they, let's see, they're sensual, radiant, and strong. They drench the lips with densely pigmented color and a unique color shine complex. Lips are visibly smooth, plumped, and radiant with luminous satin color. I think that's absolutely accurate. I love the formula. It's so smooth and creamy, and it wears evenly. It distributes evenly. It covers my lip color. It's pretty opaque, very pigmented, and it does have this amazing glossy sheen to it. Like you've put a little bit of lip gloss over your lipstick, maybe. But very stunning, very unusual, and um, pretty. I love the formula. It does, they say that it becomes fluid on contact with the lips. And I think there's a feel like that. It's very smooth, buttery, more so than almost any other lipstick. There's no tugging, no pulling. It's just a very soft formula. Super pigmented, and they are also very moisturizing on my lips. I don't really have dry lip problems. But um, these, it's been really hot and dry lately. We've had a really hot summer where I am in Southern California. And for the first time, I actually am having some real drying issues with my lips. This has done exactly the opposite. And you have this amazing gloss finish. So this is what it looks like on this color, Red Muse. And um, also with this formula, what I like, was sometimes with the softer um, lip colors, I get a loss of definition on my top lip. I don't quite understand why because it doesn't happen with all lipsticks, just with some of the softer, lighter shades. And I don't have that problem with this line, not just with this brighter, bolder color, but with this line in general. I rarely have any of that. And it does stain slightly, so the wearability, I get three, four, five hours depending on the color. With this color I get about four. Um, heading into the five because the red does stain my lips and it wears evenly beautifully so it looks like it's lasting better than it really is and I've learned that my definition of lasting is different from some people's I think lasting means it looks almost like this it doesn't look faded it hasn't worn away just because there's lipstick on my lips it doesn't mean to me that that's lasting so this looks pretty for a good three to four to five hours depending on my day and what I'm doing whether I'm drinking water eating obviously um, did have a little bit of an issue with this color. I love the color. Let's start with that. I think it's beautiful. It's a more wearable red. This was a concept I learned at Sephora. One of the people that worked there showed me this particular color when I was looking at some neon fire engine bright red. She said, you know, you might want to go with a more wearable red. And I thought, well, that makes sense. Some reds are just not quite as in your face, bright, and I find them easier for everyday wear. Maybe at nighttime I might want a really in-your-face bright red, but in the daytime I typically don't. And I'll use lipstick like this after working out, when I'm in a hurry in the morning, don't have time for a lot of makeup, after yoga when I don't have a lot of makeup on and need to run errands, because I look, in my opinion, a lot more polished with a brighter lipstick 
a bolder lipstick when I don't have a lot of other makeup on. It just kind of makes me look a little bit more polished, a little bit less sloppy. So I like colors like this. This particular shade had a few issues. So if you see this right here, this is I fixed it earlier, but then I decided I was going to fix it a second time. I have a little bit of bleeding right here. And while I didn't have fading of my upper lip, for some reason with this shade, maybe because it's so bright and bold, I did have some uneven application. I had a really hard time getting it to apply evenly, which is usually not a problem I have, but the reason is the formula is so soft and the color is so bold, so anything that goes out of the line really shows. And since it's a softer formula, it's harder to get it exactly in the line. So to make this lipstick work, what I've done is I've either done a liner or I'll show you my next problem in the trick fix. I also had issues right in there. It's a pretty color. Um, look how pretty that is. I had issues right in here where your lips tend to be the wettest. I just couldn't get the lipstick to apply evenly after I blotted once. I had to blot twice and get my lip pretty dry and then I could apply the lipstick and it looked even. And other than that, you can see it applies beautifully, very evenly, there's no kind of blotching, and that's not just me polishing it up. I tend to put this stuff on really fast for videos, so you can see actually how it looks. I'm not saying they're trying to look perfect, because um, you don't need me to spend an hour. You're not gonna spend an hour. So it applies really perfectly, except for that one little area. So what I did is, and this makes your lip lipstick last longer anyway, I applied one coat, and then I put a little bit of translucent powder over it, just dotted it on, blotted it on with a brush, and then I put another layer of lipstick on. With that, I still have a little bit of bleeding, but not a lot. And I don't usually have bleeding with this formula, just this particular color. And then this became a lot easier to apply evenly. And I don't have any problems right here on the inner part of the lip. So with this particular shade, that's a nice fix. If you can't do that, I would use, I, what I'll do is I'll throw this in my bag with a red um, liner and I'll do it that way and I do get better wear as well that then when I do that I don't have this bleeding issue and I don't have the same kind of wear issue or application issue because I already put something on underneath and I have much easier definition on the top line so that's my one caveat with this particular lipstick I love the color it's a bright red but it's a wearable bright red leading to the warm under orange undertones beautiful coverage except for those issues even coverage except for those issues and it wears just so so beautifully it's a lovely lovely shade as it fades and usually four hours is a good estimate of wear time for me and I think that's it the formula I actually like better than this particular shade of the formula so I think that's it on this uh, if you have this shade if you have other ones I would love to hear because I'm curious about some of the other shades I only have like, two others and I just love the formula if you have suggestions for other videos, please let me know, and also subscribe on YouTube. And I do videos for my book as well, a child parent focused book, education book called Get Your Child to the Top. And I think that's it. Thanks.